Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me um, to get my eyebrows threaded. Cause it really needs it right now. Cause all like the, the little hairs are growing back. Um, the reason I'm gonna go get it now is because I'm not gonna have time tomorrow nor, and then it's closed Sunday. Or, where is it closed? No, I don't remember. But um, I'm just gonna go get it now because I know I have time to do it now because I know um, later these days, like between Sunday and, um, oh shoot, I thought the camera was gonna fall. Later on, um, between Sunday and Monday, I'm gonna be super busy. I'm gonna be actually leaving Florida. I'm gonna be going to to Mexico. So I wanna make sure I have my eyebrows looking good. So when I go to Mexico, I don't be looking all, all horrible. Um, so I'm gonna go to my favorite lady. She's like, I think she's an Indian lady. She's like an Indian lady. I don't know, I, ne I never really asked, you know, where she's from, but you know, she has like that, you know, aspect, you know, that she looks like she's from India, I think she is. But I'm gonna go to her, she's like super good, super, super good. Like, that's like the only lady I'll go to. I remember there was a time when, um, when I, she used to work at a different place, and, uh, which was sort of like 10 minutes farther than where I go now and um i would go over there because that's where she worked at first and then when i um so then i started going all the time you know and then out of nowhere she wasn't there and then i asked one of like the other lady that replaced her and i'm just like hey um uh, where's the other lady you know and then she's like oh she's on vacation right now so i'm gonna be here for her and i was just like oh okay all right then so you know months went on and um that new lady was still there and I never asked you know where she was and I was just like in my head thinking maybe you know maybe she left but they didn't want to tell us and then I could literally like two months ago I think it was two months ago um I actually found the the lady that I would always do my eyebrows so then I saw a picture of her and I was like oh hey um I wasn't sure it was you so I decided to go inside to see and then she was like, oh yeah, it's me. And I'm just like, what are you doing here? And then she just said, oh, I just decided to come to a new location. I was just like, oh, okay. And I was like so happy I found her because she is literally like the best eyebrow lady um, to go to. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but she, um, I do threading. I don't do waxing nor plucking nor none of that. I do, um, she threads my eyebrow with a little like um, elo, you know? And then she just, you know, does it with her, you know how they put it in their hand and they put it in their mouth and go like this or whatever. But yeah, that's what she does. That's what she does. At first, when I did the, the threading, um, it hurt like a bee. I was like, oh my Jesus. I was like, oh, MG. Like, it, like the first time I did it, it freaking hurt a lot. Like, it hurt a lot. And, but then I thought I saw the end result and then I was just like, oh, this is actually pretty cute. I was like, the pain was worth it. Um, but yeah, but then after you go a couple more times, you get used to it. And I don't know why, but I guess it depends on your, like how your body feels because there are times I went, it did not hurt at all. Like I had zero pain, like literally zero pain. But then there are other times where it hurt a little bit. I don't know if it just depends how your body feels that day or I don't know. But there were days that I had no pain and I was just like, yes. And I was like, oh, I'm going to start coming around this time of the month. And then I came again around that time of the month. And I was just like, oh, it hurts. So I don't know. I, I guess my body just reacts to pain at different times. I don't know. Ten valor de decir que no quieres seguir. Te extrañaré tus besos. He que cada uno fue genuino. No puedo detenerte, pero si te vas, llévame contigo. Hello, um, may I please get a venti strawberry refresher? Alrighty. Uh, with light ice, please. Alright. And that'll be all. Alrighty, I'll the window. Okay, thank you. No problem. Mm. Always ask for light ice, guys, because they tend to be to put a lot of ice, and then when you actually, you know, take like because I've taken out the cup you know like the liquid to see how much I actually get and it's a little bit hello okay you think I can get a same cup with just ice and a straw yeah I got you yeah 
Alright, thank you. Have a great you too, thanks. Okie dokie. So I got an empty cup with ice just so I can put my water in it because um, I like drinking water because I know the strawberry refresher is like sweet like a little too sweet so then I just drink water with it so I can like you know water down the sugar in my body drink this I'm like so thirsty like so thirsty oh my god I haven't had this in forever because I always get the dragon drink because that's always my go-to drink but this is so good mm. bomb all right guys so I um, arrived to the place and now I just have to look for a parking spot that's close to where she is uh, I know there's like a whole bunch of parking spots here you know but I don't want to walk too far so I'm going to try and look for um, something closer I don't know where because it's usually packed plus it's Friday so everybody always tries to pack I mean pack park as close as um where they want to be heading to so so um i'm gonna try and look for an empty parking spot hopefully there is one because i'm not trying to walk far even though i need it i haven't like the air exercise in forever when i say forever it's forever oh my god hopefully they're open i'm scared it looks like they're closed it looks like they're closed guys OMG Hopefully they're not Actually, Let me look it up Let me look it up OMG No it's closed guys What? Why is it closed so early? I looked it up right here Um. And then Google Okay guys, never mind. We're not gonna get my eyebrows started today. It's closed. OMG. Why? Why did it close so early? Wow, they closed at six. Who dude, that's so early to be closing a a, a salon at six o'clock, dude. So I'm literally 30 minutes late. I was so positive it closed at seven. I was like, I have 30 minutes to spare. But I don't. Okay, never mind, guys. So, I'm not gonna get my eyebrows started today. I guess I'm gonna have to wait till Sunday. I'm gonna have to wait till Sunday now. Wow. Okay, then. Never mind. So, you guys are not gonna get. See, it's a literally drove to Coconut for no reason. For no reason. But yeah, I don't know. But it's okay, guys. So, we can, I can go to. um to they're gonna let me go yeah i can go to i'm gonna go to like, just go see if my serums came in and i'll just show you that you guys that wow wow bummer guys i can't believe it's closed i'm so sad why do they have to close so early it's six o'clock come on guys at least like eight at least you know i guess not oh jesus because literally i have nothing to do here at coconut like i really don't need anything oh actually jk wait because i'm gonna okay actually no let me go to sephora real quick no or should i go to ulta i don't know do i really need it okay guys do i okay every time i'm here at coconut and that one when I remember this, I always, I always remember this is a foreign altar. And every time I'm here, I want to go. But I'm like, do I really need what I want, or do I just want it because I just want to have it? But yeah, I don't know. Let me think about it. To be honest, do I need it? Do I not need it? I don't know. But yeah, guys, you know what? Let me go to Ulta instead because I know if I go to Sephora, 
it has like more like options and um i'm gonna like spend my money yeah i just go to ulta because ulta has like fewer things like to me it has fewer things but let me just go there instead because i want to buy like a setting spray but i need like a small setting spray so i can take because like when you like the, i was looking you know like the tsa thing like where you can take to the airport where you cannot and they literally have like a lot of restrictions on like like liquids or something like that they said like the most you can carry is 200 milligrams or something like that and my setting spray are more than 200 milligrams so um um i'm gonna have to buy like a travel size or a mini one so um so i can take it with me because i'm planning on taking just like like the essentials like the essential makeup like um like you know like the primer foundation bronzer concealer one eyeshadow palette like probably two lipstick combos like lip combos and that's it because I'm not I'm not gonna be because I know I'm not gonna be doing my makeup every day when I'm over there so so I'm just gonna take as like enough so I can have a natural looking look and then that's it okay so I'm here at Ulta I'm gonna park real quick and I will see you guys inside and let's see what I get from there hopefully not too many items because Ulta is so far like the best places okay guys so here we are do i don't know remember if the last um video if you saw my q a video this is the um sunny spray that i was talking about it's the um wet and wild photo focus coconut three in one primer this is literally like the um best primer ever it freaking smells so good they also have um the, the cucumber and the rose. So I might actually I might buy this again. Depending on okay, it's 45 ml, so they would accept this. Okay. Also my face has been breaking out a lot. I don't know why. I think it's because I haven't been eating healthy. So I need to look for something that is going to help it. So I bought this, the witch hazel one, but with the in the rose petal one. Like rose petal. I guess smell because it has different ones. It has rose petal, cucumber, lavender, coconut, and then oregano. I bought this one. I bought this one, and I was using that to to um, help with my breakout with on my cheek, and it was actually helping it a lot. But then I started eating junk food again, and now my whole right side is looking all pimply and um and horrible. Look at these Kaidi bronzers, they're so freaking beautiful. And they have the eyeshadows here. Okay guys, so I tried recording for you guys inside. Um, I started to do a little bit, as y'all can see with the coconut primer. But the there was like the Ulta employees kept on looking, kept on um looking at me weird. Cause I had like, cause I had a camera with me, like I look suspicious or something. So you know, I I started recording and then I went to the like the lotion area and I was gonna start talking about it. And then I just see the lady coming and she's well, she she seemed nice. She's like, oh, can I help you with anything? But like, you guys didn't see like the like you guys couldn't see how like it. She brought it out when she asked. Like they were all looking at me, like I was gonna steal or something. Literally, literally. So, so I couldn't really take you guys to go to take you guys to see everything I wanted you guys to see because I, I really wanted to show you guys some 
some some like products I use but I couldn't even talk about it because they kept on looking at me weird and I was just like oh my god so I really didn't want to deal with that so I just turned off the camera and I literally just recorded just um I just recorded just like the shelf of like the Mario Badechu shelf I think that's how you say it and then a little bit of the tart shape um shelf as well where they have all the different concealers literally because I could not record in there I literally couldn't because there was specifically one lady she, like that kept on like um looking at me and then once I went to the other section I there was another lady like a look she pretended like she was shopping but I'm not I'm not stupid like I can tell y'all were like watching me they were literally looking at me like they were like supervising me like if I was gonna steal or something just because they saw me with the camera and I was just like okay whatever so I didn't film in there anymore because I felt so uncomfortable like I literally did not feel comfortable recording in there like at all um so then so I was like you know what instead of since I can't talk or say anything because they'd be looking at me weird like I'm gonna do something so I just uh, when I can, I just turn on the camera and I just, you know, just like um, did it towards like the shelf of the makeup, it's just so you guys can see at uh, the parties I was looking. But other than that, I couldn't really show you what why I really wanted to because the same lady who already asked me how I'm doing and um, if I need help already asked me before, and then she came up to me again, and I just felt like I was just being watched the whole time, so I didn't feel comfortable. So I was like, you know what? I just turned off the camera and just took a little bit clips of what I was looking at and that's it because obviously I cannot have go in there with the camera and for them not to be looking at me weird. I was just like, whatever, you know. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go there, get what I got. I just cut I just got a few items um from Ulta. I got the the Mario Batichu skincare. I got the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water um this is what i got i got a small one because since i can't take the big one because it's you know under like the limit of what we can take at the airport so i got the mario Batista skincare i think i'm saying that last name wrong if i'm not i'm sorry but I, that's what i got and this is how it looks like okay and that's this is my favorite favorite i have the other one with lavender but that's the one I use at night. This is one I use for for makeup and everything. But the one after I wash my face at night, I put in my moisturizer, my serum. Then I use the the purple one, which is like which soothes and hydrates the skin. So that's the one I use. And then, as I was trying to say, and also about the coconut primer, I bought it because this is literally like the best, one of the best. Like, like besides this, like setting place for makeup. It literally. Um, makes your skin feel so refreshed so refreshed so this is a wet and wild coconut three-in-one finish and I truly truly recommend this um, setting spray because it's so good plus it's cruelty free so please guys go buy this cuz it's so so good and then one last thing I bought was um, the hula benefit um, bronzer this is the one I got I've been trying to buy this for a long time but every time I come it's always like sold out or something you know I could never find it like never so finally today I saw it and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna buy it today because every time I come it's always um it's always out of stock so this time I got it and I can't wait to use it um, once I do my makeup I don't know when but when I do I'll be make sure to show you guys but yeah guys other than that these are the only three items that got Ulta the wet and wild one you don't have to come to Ulta you to get it you can go to um you could go to like any drugstore um places to go buy it um uh, where I usually get it is Walgreens if not I think you can go to Walmart and it'll be there but I truly recommend this one guys especially because it's coconut and it smells so good when you spray it all over your face it smells so good like literally even if i don't need it on my face i will just spray it i know it's a waste of product but it just smells so good guys but other than that then that's the only thing i bought and i'm just gonna go oh uh, i'm just gonna head to to the peel box to see um if my series my serums came if they did i'm gonna show it to you guys and i am so excited for those because i've been waiting a while a while and i don't know i need a and then i've been using the avino um the Ovino 
a moisturizing scrub for my face and it was helping me out but then but again I was eating healthy at that time when I was using it so my face cleared up but then I started um eating unhealthy I started eating fast food every day and that's it I would just eat fast food every day one time and um and now I'm like literally breaking out even more over here and now my forehead so I really need to stop and I need to go back to my green smoothie because my green smoothie is what really helped with my skin um when I was you know um doing my whole morning skin routine my night skin routine like the green smoothie really helped out and then eating healthy also helped out but I've been slacking so I need to go I need to get back to it um but other than that the vino um scrub actually really works real good it makes your face feel so like soft and refreshed so I recommend that one as well um but yeah other than that I just need to like we're focused on my eating habits because I've been super slacking with that and then I've been breaking down that's how I can tell because of my face um more little little pimples are coming up and now in my forehead my forehead was clear but now it's coming out on my forehead so I need to get that situated okay but yeah guys um yeah I'll see you guys at the peel box if my serums are there if not I'll see you guys in a bit okay okay guys so I just arrived to the peel box place and let's see if my serums came in hopefully they did it's so quiet in here sometimes I get scared coming here because there is literally nobody here Okay guys, so they came in because I got a key. When you get a key and the package is big, that means it came in. So they have to put it like in a bigger locker. So it says it's in parcel 12. So it has to be here. Look, there it is. Oof, I'm so happy. I am so happy I came in. Okay, I'm not going to be the only person here anymore. I see a car coming in, so that makes me comfortable. Let me double check. I didn't drop anything. Okay, I always have to double check I didn't drop anything because you know these in these papers have to be important. That's why they're here. I see you guys in the car. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I ordered, and um, I can't. I'm so happy I finally got it. I've been waiting literally a whole week to for this package because i always have the tendency to always order my stuff on a friday and then i have to wait for saturday and sunday because those aren't business days so those days don't count so i literally had to wait seven days business days to get my package just because i ordered it um literally on a weekend and i always do that i don't know why i always every time i want to order something it's always on a weekend that I have like the mood. Maybe because it's Friday and it's payday. Like, you know what? Let me treat myself and let me get something. But yeah, guys, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm super excited about this. Because I already have the ginger shot and I love it. I absolutely love it. And now I'm going to get... Now I have my, my bundle. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make some room here so I can... Um, show you guys literally look at this I literally have so much stuff in my passenger seat I have my little pink little um, purse and then I have my actual purse and then I have two bottle waters mask this 
I don't know. I have so much stuff here, guys, that I literally need like a bigger car or something. Well, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. Like in the future, I'm gonna get another car because this was like a, a first car, you know. Because I really wanted like a car that was mine and um that I bought myself, and I did. And I'm super proud of myself because I already paid it off on my own. I paid this on my own as well, so I feel like that's a big accomplishment. Um, you see, guys, I have so much stuff. You don't even know. I feel like that's a big accomplishment. So I can't wait until I actually get another car. I'm probably gonna get like a bigger car because it's just like a four, one, two, three, four seater car. My five, like, is the one in the middle. But I want like a, like, I just like a bigger car, like kind of like a family car because you know, I'm all, I'm like literally family oriented. So I really love my family. So I want to take them with me, like everywhere everywhere so yeah let me show you guys what i got let me get the camera okay guys so i'm gonna show you what i got so it's in a bubble wrap so it can be super protected um let's see i'm gonna show you over here i'm in my car so i'm gonna try and show you real quick all right, guys. So let me try and zoom it in real quick. Zoom it, zoom it in, zoom it out. I don't know. We'll see. So it's super protected, and these are my three serums that I got. And I got a a, a pineapple sea brightening serum um, sample, so I can try it. And to be honest, this is literally sold out. I went, I went to um, see the if my serum was were on the way and then I saw the pineapple syrup was sold out so I was like it has to be good so here are my three my three um serum shot I have the kale plus vitamin B serum shot um so it can hydrate and and smooth the skin and then I also have the the B plus vitamin A serum shot and then I have the ginger plus vitamin C serum shot yeah and this is the one I already have and I and I love it so I decided to get these three because these are like super popular and I literally can't wait to try them I'll take it out of the package real quick so you guys can see how it looks like so you guys can see how it looks like hold on this if you guys have me on snapchat you guys have seen it before because I bought this with um with other products and I showed it off because I was so excited that I got got this so this is the ginger vitamin C um, serum shot and this um, helps to brighten dark spots and uneven tone and you use this after you clean you cleanse your face and um, you tone it after you do those two then you put the serum so this is how this one looks like Let's see if you guys can see it. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, right here. This is the vitamin C ginger shot. And this works wonders. It's so good. It is so good, guys. And it feels so good on your skin as well. And then I also have... um. So I already know how this is because I loved it from the first time I used it. And so I'm going to show you guys the other one real quick. So you guys can see this one so this is the B plus vitamin A serum shop and it's in the pink packaging and it's so cute I love it and I love how they did the pink on um, packaging because you know how beets are you know kind of like a pinky color and this is how this one looks like there you go so this is a vitamin A B vitamin A plus B um, shot serum shot and this is um you use it the same way after you cleanse and you tone your face and this is to um to refine your pores and smooth like rough skin if you have like really rough skin and yeah your pores are like big this is going to help it to soothe it and calm it down so I can't wait to try this one as well and last but not least I have my greens which is the kale plus vitamin serum shop and this is how this one looks like 
All these are used the same way. After you're done cleansing, like cleansing your face and then applying your toner, then when you put your serum. Look at this. Look how, look how greenish it looks like. Ooh. Look at that. And this is to um to hydrate and soothe dry skin. So if you feel like your skin looks dehydrated or something, just put, like put a drop of this and it'll help and help real quick. So this is it. I love how like the color matches the packaging. It is so cute. It is so cute. But yeah, so these are my three serum shots, which I love already. Like since. I know I haven't tried these two already, but I already know I'm going to love it because I love this. So these are the three I'm going to be using from now on. And then I have a sample pineapple brighten, sam, a, a sample pineapple seed brightening serum. Brightening serum. So I can't wait to try this because it's sold down on their website. So I can't wait to try that. But yeah, other than that, that's all I got. So, obviously in the beginning of the video I said I was going to do my eyebrows, but I couldn't because it was closed. Um, so I just went to Ulta, but you know how Ulta went. But yeah, so then I just decided to go to the P.O. Box and get my, my stuff. But yeah, hopefully um, I'm able to thread my eyebrows soon because they're looking a little horrible. I mean, I don't think you can notice it, but I think I can. But yeah, guys, this was a little bit on my little day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my little mini life, my little mini vlog. And if you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and to share with your friends. Um, and please support your girl. So um, I'll see you guys next time, okay? And if you have any videos that you recommend or that you want me to do, please tell me. Like, I, I am so down to do it. Like, I'm literally down to do anything you guys tell me to do. Um, I just need to um, just let me know and I just have to find the time and then I'll do it. Okay, so Please make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye